Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a will I buy it? I have not done this in a really, really long time and I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, so I thought I would do it today and a huge thank you to Samantha March for starting and continuing this series. She does it every single Wednesday, like clockwork. I don't think she's taken off a Wednesday in I don't know how long. So let's go ahead and get into it. I usually shift to like one side of the frame, but I'm actually just gonna stay in the middle. I won't bore you with the technical details, but I'm gonna just stay in the middle and hopefully I have enough room to pop the pictures in. If not, it'll cover my face, which is fine, which is fine. You see enough of my face. So I am gonna go to Instagram. I'm gonna hit the trend mood one Instagram feed first. She is just a wealth of knowledge, that one. And I was really excited to see this uh, collaboration slash collection. This is the Bobby Brown, Ula Johnson collaboration. And this is gonna be, the, I think, the second time they've collaborated. And all of these products look amazing. So it looks like there are two uh, lipsticks, three of their sheer balms, and then two double-ended cream shadow sticks. And I love the Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Sticks. So I think I definitely want to get those. Oh, and there's something else in a compact. Oh, it's a highlighter. So I don't know if that is a brand new shade. Oh, it's Pink Glow. So it's actually repackaged, um, an existing highlighter that's being repackaged. Okay. Um, so I probably won't get that. I do have Pink Glow. I really want to try those double ended sticks. Those are really pretty colors. I wonder if those are just repackaged shades because I think I have most of the Bobbi Brown sticks. We'll have to see. Um, but I definitely wanna pick up that bright red lipstick and maybe one of those lipstick shears. Those just look mm, really, really beautiful. And I love the packaging. It has like pretty like floral print all over it. Just so pretty. I mean, yes. Will I buy it? Yes. Yes, I will. The Pat McGrath Hutopian Dream uh, Mothership Palette along with this uh, intensity, intensify eyes, artistry wand. So I've already ordered these. I think I just got a shipping confirmation and they're coming either Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. So yes, I am definitely picking this up. I think I saw a few comments like, oh, this is boring. We've seen all these shades before. I don't care. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love Pat McGrath shadows. I love that. It, it looks like it's like a matte melon shade. It's in the center on the bottom row, but in the swatches, it looks like my dream lip color. It's like a coral red. And I'm like, what? What is happening? It's called Shockwave. I, I don't know. I, that to me just looks really cool. I know red eyeshadow is a little like, uh, what am I going to do with that? But I, I can't wait to play with it. And then the four special shades over on the right-hand side, how beautiful. They just look so, so beautiful. I personally am very, very excited for this Mothership palette, and I can't wait to play with this little artistry wand too. So it looks like a, like a balm stick, and it's supposed to be a primer. It's supposed to intensify your eyeshadows. So I picked that up too. I don't know. Am I going to use it beyond, you know, filming a video for you guys? Maybe not, but if it does make a really big difference and if it is easy to use, maybe, maybe I will. So anyway, Definitely wanted to try it. Did get both of those. Again, those are coming. Look out for a video. So Charlotte Tilbury, she's come out with this super nudes collection. And I feel like there was um, early access for it and a lot of buzz about it. But that six pan eyeshadow is already out there, right? That double ended eyeliner is already out there. I think those lipsticks are also out there already. So it's just that Nudegasm face palette that I think is new. It looks a lot more nude, um, neuter than the other face palettes that she has. But I feel like, like it was available and now it's not. I don't know. If anyone has <laughs> any clue as to when this is going to be available, at least in the U.S., please let us know down below in the comment section. Um, I also, you know, I've just been kind of busy in my own world. I really haven't like kept up with like makeup news too much. So I'm sure it's out there. The information's out there somewhere, but I just, I can't figure it out. I, I keep going out to her site and I'm like, is, is this here? It's not here yet. So I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you guys know anything. Ah, and Natasha Denona. 
So, okay. So she has come out with the Smoke Envision Collection. There is a five pan palette. Is this, it's a mini, it's a mini palette. So it's $25. And then there are uh, one, two, three Macrotech eye crayons. And then three work and set long wearing full coverage cream eyeliners. So this has been available and I've seen like thumbnails of people reviewing this five pan, this mini palette from Natasha Denona. Um, I, I love a cool eyeshadow look. I just didn't feel compelled to run out and get this. I feel like I have all of these colors. I feel like this is very, very similar to the Viseart, is it the Chroma? The Chroma palette, that six pan palette. I feel like all of the mattes could be duped in there. Um, the Natasha Denona shimmer shade in the middle, I'm sure is fantastic. I don't know. The looks that I've seen with this, it, like if you want a smoky eye, gorgeous, run out and get this. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I don't want to say like, I don't need it. I don't need any of this, but you know, I just don't know if it's something I'm, I'm dying for at the moment. The cream eyeliners look really interesting. I just don't personally use them that much. They're a little bit fussier than a crayon to me. I feel like a crayon is so easy. And then those crayon colors, you know, black, of course, uh, but I have enough. I have enough black eyeliners to last me five lifetimes. And then the other two shades, um, brown, Again, another color eyeliner that I just have so many, so many brown eyeliners. And then burgundy. The burgundy is pretty. I feel like I'd, I wanna see that in person. If it has a little bit too much red in there, you get that kind of like pink eye situation. If it has a lot of purple, a lot more blue in it, it could be really pretty. Overall, I have to say it looks nice. I just don't feel compelled to run out and get it. That, that's, that's all. The Chantecaille new luminescent eye shades. I need these. Now I haven't picked them up and I'm gonna be 1000% honest with you guys. I usually get PR from Chantecaille. I have no idea if these are coming. I thought I would give it a couple days. If they don't send it, I'm gonna buy it myself because that Regal Emerald and the Wild Bronze, I feel like I love greens and I love any kind of like mid-tone brown taupey shade. I feel like these two are just screaming my name. So I must have these. I must have them. So I'm going to give it a couple days. And like I said, if I don't get it from them, which is totally fine, I'm going to run out and get these myself for sure. So these I'm almost positive are limited edition. They are $59 each. So I think that's in line with their past shades. Maybe they were 58. In any case, pretty much the same. And it's to support the crucial work of Sujan Tiger and Leopard Conservation. I don't know if I uh, mispronounce that, but that is awesome. So yes, a big, big yes. Will I buy it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> to those, they just look so beautiful. So new foundation from Estee Lauder, part of their double wear line, which as we know, very popular double wear sheer long wear foundation SPF 19. It is a sheer matte foundation with all day long wear looks fresh and healthy. Um, 12 hour wear. I am not the biggest fan of a matte foundation. Uh, I think the most matte I like to go is when something's described as like skin-like. That I feel like I can get down with, but matte, mm, I think, I think I'm not going to get this. I just feel like I look like a corpse if I have matte foundation on. Um, so this also has uh, SPF 19. I think I mentioned that $43, 26 shades. I don't know if it's exclusive to Ulta at the moment or if it is just available at Ulta. Anyway, it's available at Ulta and anything I can, I'll link down below in my description box if you're interested. So I am curious to hear what people think about this though. This is, oh, the new line by YSL. I just saw someone review this on YouTube. I can't remember who. And I didn't actually watch it. When I say saw, I just, I saw the, the thumbnail pop up. So this is uh, the new Bare Look Tint. It's a skin tint foundation for $38. Lightweight skin tint with buildable light to medium coverage for fresh dewy complexion. Okay, that sounds up my alley. Um, there's also the new Glow in Balm Face Priming Moisturizer. A 24 hour lightweight facial primer moisturizes 
uh, skin with a non blah, 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 blah. Leave skin radiant. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. There is also a new blotting lotion, pore minimizer and priming mattifier. That's not for me. I have dry skin. Um, there's also a new tone corrector and complexion booster. Okay. Color corrector in three shades, evens out skin tones. Okay. Uh, we'll probably pass on that. And then a new dewy mist rejuvenating face spray. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, pomegranate extract. Now that, okay. So all of this is supposed to be available at Sephora at the moment. I may, I may pick that up. I may pick up the primer, the skin tint, and maybe the face spray. Oh, I have a ton of face spray. Okay. Maybe I'll just get the foundation and primer. I mean, I have a ton of that too, but that's more fun to kind of like review and play with. Wow. So how many shades are there? 20 shades. Okay. If you guys would be interested in me reviewing the primer and the foundation, possibly the spray, <laughs> let me know down below in the comment section. Yeah. That looks really interesting to me. You guys. Now I try not to get fooled <laughs> by repackaged things or limited edition packaging of something that's been out on the market for years. I mean, I am I am a sucker for packaging, but I don't wanna just keep buying like the same product with a better pack. I try and avoid it, is my point. And now, <laughs> Gucci just came out with their gorgeous Gardenia perfume, which I love, in this like really pretty pink floral bottle. And I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. And I'm really, really pissed that I'm tempted but it really is, it's just such a pretty, pretty bottle. It, it's, it's gorgeous, it's really gorgeous. So it's encased within a lacquered pink glass and shiny gold cap, a flora pattern, $138. And then they have a roller ball for 34. Now the roller ball is just, it's pink, okay? They could have put some of that floral art onto the roller ball and then I could have satisfied my craving buying just the roller ball, but no, no. I will probably have to buy the whole bottle, but it really is just such a pretty, pretty bottle. And I do, I do like the perfume. Will I ever use it up? Probably not, but I do like the perfume. Okay, I think I'm getting into some older products. Let me jump over to my girlfriend Tavia's Instagram feed, chic profile official. Definitely, if you love you know luxury makeup, definitely check out her uh, Instagram feed. I will link, I'll link all of these feeds that I'm referring to down below my description box, but definitely check her out. Okay, yes, I've seen this too. So uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Holiday 2021 collection. I don't know if this is the entire collection or some of it, uh, but it looks like there's gonna be two new quads, some new shades in the Tinted Love lip product, and one of those real sparkly lipsticks. What are they called? I can't remember. Now, one of these quads from Charlotte Tilbury, not the one with the pink and the rust matte shade, but the other one that has a lot of gold in it, she's done that before, and I think I have it. I can't remember the name, and I think it was a limited edition, and I'm trying to remember if it was like that baked gelée formula. I think they were just pressed shadows. So these two quads each have one baked gelée product in there. Um, and then the quad on the left looks like the only quad that has a matte shade, that kind of rusty brown shade. The rest all look to be like a satin shimmer. Will I run out and buy these? I may purchase the one with the pink and the matte shade. Like I said, I feel like I have a quad that looks very, very similar to the other one. So I'll probably pass on that. Again, if I'm talking about anything that I haven't purchased yet, um, or have vehemently said no to, let me know down below in the description box if you want me to purchase it for a review. I, you know, I would do it. I would, you know, you don't have to twist my arm that hard, you know, to purchase makeup. So um, yeah, just let me know <laughs> down below in the comment section. But yeah, those look interesting. The tinted love, those two colors look really beautiful. So yeah, I'm excited to see if this is it for holiday. I can't imagine for Charlotte Tilbury, this is it for her holiday 2021 collection. I would imagine she's gonna come out with quite a bit more, but I'm on board. I'm on board for all of this. We'll see what I end up purchasing and what you guys end up uh, wanting me to get. Wow. Okay. Chanel Beauty launches in September in Asia. I'm seeing this a lot where they're just launching stuff in Asia, which I mean, it makes sense. They're just buying it all up. 
Um, there will be four shades of the new and first LeBeige Eau de Blush Water Fresh Blush. If they don't come out with this in the U.S., I'm going to, like, pick it the Chanel offices in New York. <laughs> I'm going to stand outside and start a riot because this I need to, I, yes, yes. Am I going to buy it? Yes, is the answer. I would, I would, yes, I would really like to try a water fresh blush for sure. Uh, so yes to all of those. I don't even know what shades are going on. It looks like there's four different shades. I mean, yes, I'm just going to get them all. And then there's going to be two limited edition uh, Rouge Coco Flash shades. I love that formula. I'll probably get the nude one. I'll probably pass on the red one. And then there is, a, looks like a skincare product, Le Lift Fluid. I will probably skip that as well. I also have skincare, enough to choke a horse. Um, so that is new from Chanel. I really hope, Chanel, if you're listening, I really hope you launch these in the U.S. Okay, thanks. Ooh, more Chanel. Okay. All right, so this is part of Chanel Holiday 2021. It looks like there's a new quad. And this quad, I guess cool tones are back. Looks like we have a real white gold, kind of mid-tone gold, and then a deeper yellow gold, and then we have like a gun metal shade in there. Now, yes, will I buy it? I will. Is any of this gonna blow my skirt up? Probably not. You know, these look like pretty basic shades. Um, the imprinting on there, the fives, and then the perfume bottle. I mean, it's cute. And I think this year is like a big anniversary for Chanel Number no. 5. They came out with all those factory products. Um, I'm actually not the biggest fan of Chanel Number no. 5. I know, blasphemy. But I think it's, uh, kind of, unless, unless these eyeshadows actually smell like Chanel Number no. 5, which would be really weird to put into eyeshadow, I think it's weird to put that imprint on the eyeshadow. If it comes out in the US, I will definitely be picking it up for sure. Just, just love me some Chanel. We'll be launching worldwide, UK and US for sure. Okay, then I will be getting it. NARS is coming out with another big Chalet face palette. I feel like they had, you know, success with their previous face palettes and then they came out with these big gelée face palettes and like people ran out to get those. I think they're really latching on to this idea. Like NARS, I feel like they get like an idea in their head and they just they just ride it into the sunset. Like orgasm, they're just riding that into the sunset. So these big gelée face palettes, this is their next this is their next thing. Um, it looks beautiful and I do, I, wow. I really like those colors in there actually. They're very, very pretty. So it's their holiday 2021 cheek palette. It will launch together with a new eyeshadow palette. This cheek palette, I'll probably pick this up. It's really pretty. The embossing on it is really pretty. It looks like that do not enter like crime tape. Uh, it says NARS on it, but it looks like the crime tape. Ah, and for Dior spring. 2022, wow, that is that is far away. I'm imagining this is far away. Anyway, Dior's coming out with another trio. And I didn't really have luck with, oh, I can't remember what, was it spring 2021? They came out with those two trios and, you know, they looked pretty in the pan, but the two trios weren't that different. I don't know, I just didn't have a great experience with those trios. So I'm looking at this and the colors look a little, Bland, I guess. I, another one. I twist my arm. If you guys want me to talk about it, I'll you know eventually get it. I'm sure we may talk about it again since it's spring 2022. We're talking about already. But this is called 833 Mineral Rose. That's the name of this trio. I'm not that excited about it. I'm not that excited about it. And Hermes looks like they're coming out with some lipsticks for fall winter 2021 launching in limited edition from the 1st of September in Japan and no info on when it'll end up in the US. But so far, Hermes has been releasing their limited edition, like special season collections in the US. So I'm sure it'll come to the US eventually. These all look to be mattes. I definitely want the one in the middle, which is number 71, Orange Brulee. Like, get out of my way, I want that. And then the one on the left, that really, really cool toned purpley gray, I think I may need to get that too. That one's number 49, Rose Tamiz. I don't know, 
T-A-M-I-Z-E. And then the one on the right is number 74, Rose Magenta. Beautiful color, but I have a lot of bright pink lipsticks that I don't really wear. Um, so I will probably pick up the two on the left. Yeah, those look really beautiful to me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I'm not the biggest fan of matte lipsticks. I'm not a big fan of matte anything, but the Hermes formula, very comfortable, super comfortable. So yes, yes to that. Okay, and Guerlain has uh, launched an Orchidee Imperial Foundation. Um, it's launching on September 15th in Asia. Um, it's inspired by the Orchidee Imperial skincare line. Uh, and of course it has multiple skincare benefits. Since it's being released in Asia first or only Asia, I don't even know. Um, there's only five shades, but what's interesting about the five shades is they look, they all look exactly the same. They're all really close, really, really close. I can barely tell the difference between double O N and zero one N. There's a brightening technology. It contains a crystal peptide. It suppresses pigmentation and dullness, prepares bright skin without uneven color. Okay. I mean, it sounds like it's, you know, it would do amazing things. If it ever reaches the States, another one. I'd be willing to try. I think it looks interesting. I've never tried, and I love Guerlain, but I have not tried this particular skincare line of theirs. But foundation sounds interesting, that's for sure. Wow, guys, so much to talk about. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just scrolling down Tavia's uh, feed and I'm like, oh, okay. Got to talk about that. Got to talk about that. All right. She's posted a picture of a quad from Tom Ford and it's supposed to be coming out for Soleil holiday 2021 collection. I generally love the Soleil collections. For some reason, I feel like he just knocks it out of the park for that collection. And so this is going to be the naked pink quad. Now this looks really beautiful. And yes, I will pick it up. <laughs> I feel like I keep saying this about Tom Ford shadows. Like none of the shades in there are earth shattering, but I just think they're, they're really beautiful. And, um, a couple, the top right shade, the matte shade actually reminds me of one that he had in that when he came out with those single shadows. Um, it reminds me of one of those. God, I can't remember the name. Anyway, when I get this quad, I'll pull out that single to do a little comparison. Cause it's probably the same, uh, shade because he discontinued those singles. So maybe they just threw it into the squad. Anyway, um, so yes to that. And then I keep seeing pictures of these new Tom Ford shade and illuminate blush duos. They will be launching in the US. I just don't know when. There will be six shades in total. We won't get to see them in the UK before September, uh, according to official sources at TF Counters and Boutique. So, you know, Tavia's labeled this as Tom Ford summer 2021. So I don't know when these are coming, but I, I really love his cheek color blushes. Just those single blushes, really, really beautiful. Like love lust. Oh, such a pretty color. These duos, I hope it's basically the same formula because that was just a really nice, like pressed powder formula. Just really beautiful. And most of the shades had like a beautiful sheen to them. I really hope they didn't screw it up. <laughs> I really, really hope they didn't screw it up because I think those are discontinued now and they're coming out with these. Um, but yes, <laughs> yes to this as well. Uh, definitely want to pick these up. And she says that there's going to be six shades, but she only has five pictured. So I'm sure the sixth one's going to be similar. They, these all look kind of similar. And then I could have sworn she had posted a picture of a new Hermes highlighter coming out that looked to be baked gelée as well. But if I find a picture of it, I will definitely uh, throw it up here because that looks beautiful. <laughs> and I definitely, definitely want to pick that up. That is a huge yes. And I feel like I've been talking forever. So I'm just going to pick one and, and stop there. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm going to have to do these more often because I feel like the makeup is just, just really coming out at lightning speed. Oh, a new Dior Quint for fall 2021. So sorry, I'm talking about all the Dior stuff kind of out of order since I'm going down in their feed. So I already talked about their spring 2022. This is for fall 2021. So this seems a little bit more appropriate. This is their Atelier of Dreams collection. Wow, it looks really, really pretty. They look to be pressed powder shadows and it looks like there's a really pretty silver in the middle. And I love that kind of like tonal 
monochromatic business going around on the outside going from like a peach to like a cooler brown to these like more metallic like peachy shades those look really pretty this is a big yes a big big yes again nothing earth shattering but those shades are just so pretty and then like put together in one palette i'm like oof Oof, that looks really beautiful. All right, well, that is it for this Will I Buy It. I feel like I could have talked for another half hour, but uh, we'll cut it there. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Again, please let me know uh, down below in the comment section if there was anything I wasn't sure about. Let me know what you would like to see reviews on. And anything that is already available, I will leave links to down below in my description box. And that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.